I've had so many questions about the Sawyer Squeeze, it demands a video response. But before we go any further, time to put out that all-important disclaimer. I do not claim to be an expert in water filtration or affiliated with the manufacturer of the Sawyer Squeeze. Before you purchase any of these type of uh, water filtration products, it is very important you go to the manufacturer's website. If you can't find what you're looking for there, go ahead and give their customer service a call and they'll be glad to help you out. So don't screw around with water filtration. Make sure you get the information you need. Okay, that is done out of the way. Now, obviously the Sawyer Squeeze will not filter out viruses. Won't do it. But if you're in doubt, go ahead and boil your water. Another thing it will not filter out is chemicals whatsoever. So do the research on your water source. The best thing is to use Google Earth and trace it, especially in urban settings. Another thing, any kind of toxins or gas or oil or diesel fuel, it will not filter those out whatsoever. So be very safe. Now, when it comes to rainwater, especially in an urban setting, I found this out from my rain barrels, make sure you let it rain for at least 5 to 10 minutes to wash all the particles out of the air. And then you can go ahead and filter the water that way. So be very careful with one of these. Uh, state forces and national parks, you shouldn't have any problems with, at all. The best place to get water, though, would be from a spring or rainwater. So, I've had the best luck with that. Okay, as you can see, we've got the uh, Mini and the regular Sawyer. There's not really much difference in them at all. In fact, they both seem, they both filter out the same microbes. Uh, if you look right here on it, this one filters out. And that is 0 0.10 microbes. And the same thing here on the Sawyer Mini. Not a problem at all. Okay. And then with those, a lot of people were asking how I poked the holes in the bag for the gravity feed. This is the one I recently used, and I kind of did it on the fly. And if you noticed right here, on both Sawyers, they've got pre-fiated edges that you can poke out, and it won't harm the bladder whatsoever. So on this one, what I did, since I did do it on the fly, I grabbed my knife and simply just made a circular motion and poked a hole through the bag. Don't push down, you'll split the bag open. Because you can see where the seal is right here, so be very careful not to break the seal. But your best bet would be to go with this a ordinary hole punch, and it worked out great. Punch a hole there, and we'll go ahead and do this one real quick since it needs to be fixed. And we're going to go ahead and punch a hole right there and pop right through it. I like to do it the furthest away from the seal as possible. And when you open it up, you can see the hole go all the way through there. Okay, now, this is with the, uh, this is the 32 ounce bag, and you can see there's a perforated edge there, and one there, and one over here. Definitely do the one on the furthest side, and you will have no problems whatsoever. See, there you go, hole punched it. Now here is the bag for the Sawyer Mini, and it is exactly the same as for the large Sawyer. There's no difference in them at all. So this applies to both units. You can see it's got the edges right here. You could punch those out, but honestly, I'm thinking it uh, might leak if you put too much pressure on it. So the best thing to do on that, and this is what I use on my uh, shelter systems and a dome, and you can find these at Wally World really cheap. They're in the uh, sporting goods section and you can find them uh, right next to the tarps. Is if you want a gravity feed, the small 16 ounce bag, is you're just going to put this clamp on here towards the bottom and you don't need to torque it down very tight whatsoever. Just simply tighten it up like that. There you go and it'll work just fine and you won't have to put holes in your bag if you're uncomfortable with that. Now, I'm not guaranteeing that will work, but that's just how I gravity feed my uh, bags. A couple of other things. If you do have questions about the operation and the use of the bag, they actually put all the information you need right here on it. This is how to use it. And on the back, this is how to backwash the system out. 
and then they talk about the long store long term storage on how to clean the filter and all that and go ahead and read that and once again do go by the manufacturers website because they will be glad to help you out okay so we covered that the Sawyer will not filter out viruses chemicals of any type toxins and of course I'm gonna throw this out there just for the heck of it <laughs> radioactive water so if the water's green don't drink it okay I think this is gonna wrap this up if you have anything you would like to add to this video uh, any or any more information would be just freaking awesome um, like always comments are more than welcome I'll try to answer them the best I can but once again please see the manufacturers website so like always friends thanks for watching